Hello, my name is Quentin Brown from Track QR Codes. And once you sign up for an account, you will be sent to this screen. And it's just a matter of using your email and password that you used at the sign up. When you first log in, it will ask you to create your first QR code. And once you set up QR codes and your customers, you'll get a summary of all the different scans. So one of the things you can do is set up a sub-user by giving them first name, last name, an email, their company and their password. Then you can create either a read-only file or you can allow them to read and write. And then this creates the customer and then you can add QR codes to their account and they can log in and see their own information at any time. To create a QR code, it's just a matter of going in and entering the title for the QR code, entering in the URL, the media used, so is it going to be in a magazine, on the web, on a brochure, etc. You can leave these then at default and then once you've created the user, you can access your users down the bottom here. As you can see, I've already created one out of my 500 campaign. You can then add a logo to that QR code and then we'll go through the preferences. So let's go build a QR code to start with. So here's a customer that would like us to create a QR code for their website. So the very first thing we're going to do is go and create a sub-user. And so I've put in her information. I'm just going to add her as a user now. So we're going to go and create a campaign for her. And I'm going to select her here and generate her code for her. And so it's now generated this QR code. Now I'm going to go and get this tracking code, add it in all her pages so we can track the information. I don't usually use the URL shortener as it adds another process. However, I am going to make a vanity URL. We need to put our tracking information in there. However, we can customize that URL by adding their company name, etc. on the end of the tracking URL. Now here, we've used this quite a bit to do promotions for companies where they send their QR code to a coupon. But at the designated time, they don't want people to be able to scan and get that coupon anymore. So we then re redirect them back to their main mobile website. And so we would put their main mobile website in here and then choose an expiry date. Another great feature here is you can actually expire it after a number of scans. So if you get 500 people scanning, you might then want to redirect them. Here you can tick and get various email. And once again, if you hover over these, this will give you some information about some of these other features. Now we can also add a logo to their QR code. And it's just a matter of choosing the logo you want embedded in the QR code. It will add it for you. So here you can see we've included that image. Let's just save it. Then we can download a PNG, GIF or JPG or a PDF file. These are great for packing slips, products, business cards, etc. However, if you're going to do something bigger like on a poster, I would do this manually or use a very high definition graphic. Let's just have a look at it quickly. Just click on the JPG and then we can open it and it looks quite good and we could send this to the customer with their login details so then they can track how their QR code is going. The other thing you can do in here is you can do bulk barcodes. So if you were doing a real estate agent and you had a number of houses for sale, just download the example and fill in the fields and then upload it and it will do bulk QR codes for you. We also provide the ability to make a number of different QR codes. However, because we cannot add the tracking code into these products, you only get the scans for them. You can also use the campaign manager and you can create groups, etc. to export their information. 
Final thing is you will go to analytics and have a look at the different information that's provided for the QR code. Let me just go and log into my account and I'll show you how the analytics look. Once you start getting a number of customers, you can search them in here by title, company or media. And you can also expand the view here. So it usually starts at 15. It's just a matter of clicking on the number and it will display more for you. So let's go have a look at this mobile magazine, which is a magazine I started doing at the end of the year and start seeing some of the statistics. So I did this one from the 27th. We'll just update. This starts to show us information about our QR codes. So by entering in that tracking code, we get to see the pages that were visited. We see there were 187 unique scans. However, overall there were 316 scans. We had a high bounce rate because it was a test and we were only sending them to a couple of pages. But we had 382 page views. The phones that we used, so we can see here Android phone was the highest, then iPhone, then HTC. And then we can go and break down where it was actually scanned. So we can see quite a lot in Canada, 128. 128 in the US, 51 in Great Britain, 2 in India, 14 in Thailand, Australia had 27. And then it breaks it up here for us and shows us the various countries. We can then drill down and see which parts of the country were used. And we can hover over each one and just see all the different places where it was scanned. We can then actually break it down even further. Let's go have a look at London. Now if people had their GPS turned on, we could actually see a lot more dots here. However, these people didn't have their GPS turned on, so it just picked up the closest tower. So this shows us the page views, which pages they went and visited when they went and uh, used the QR code. So this is where they were sent. And then they went and looked at these other pages. And again, we can expand that down to see exactly how many pages they looked at. So you get quite a lot of information. And as you go through and use this program, you'll start to find it will give a whole lot of metrics for you to be able to help your customers get a better idea of how their QR code campaigns are running. So that's just a brief overview. My name's Quentin Brown, hoping you enjoyed this short tutorial on track QR codes.